They say that only a Spaniard, or at least a Latin, can understand and appreciate the mystique of bullfighting. And England's the last place on earth where you'd expect to find active followers of this controversial sport. But Manchester has a bullfighting club with 60 enthusiastic members who hold regular meetings like this one at Rochdale, where experts can show beginners how to face a bull, how to make the traditional and intricate passes with the cape, how to fix the bandoleros in a bull's shoulder, how to handle a sword. But there's no killing, so you don't have to feel sorry for the bull. In fact, I think the bull enjoys the whole business as much as the matadors. But you'll see for yourself now, because here comes the bull. That's a very graceful pass. Which one is it? That's the faro. Now, d does the matador decide which pass to use when, according to the way the bull comes at him? Um, with the capote, no, that's the capote. Uh -huh. It's known to use the cape. Mm -hmm. No, before the um, bull, as soon as the bull comes into the ring, before he starts his passes, he knows what he's going to do. And then it's all worked out in his mind. And then he does the passes one after the other. How many would a matador use? Uh, so his passes. Hmm. Oh, there's lots. There's six basic passes. Oh, now, could you demonstrate? Yes. Perhaps the Veronica Yes, first. that's right. I'll go through the Veronica. Hey, Toro. <laughs> How did you learn about bullfighting? Well, you learn about bullfighting from from reading about about bullfighting in books and from going to Spain. I go to Spain at least once a year. I see quite a number of corridas during the year, at least fifteen, quite often up to twenty, and you see a lot of the famous names. And th this allied with the uh, with the books helps one to appreciate the art of bullfighting. You were taking on a bull over there. Well, if you're taking on a bull over there... Have you done but, so? Oh, yes, yes, I have fought bulls. Uh, well, not bulls, but little bulls over there. P providing one knows certain basic principles, it's not all that difficult. But it's still dangerous. To a certain degree, yes. The mortality rate isn't as great these days, thanks to penicillin and various other drugs which have been introduced during the recent years. Uh, Penicillin, of course, it, uh, people often say the bullfighter's best friend. In fact, the main street in Cordoba is called the Avenida Fleming, mm. after the inventor of penicillin. And the uh, Toreros all over Spain have uh, unveiled statues to his memory, but recently in the biggest plaza in Madrid, a com uh, well, a complete statue has been unveiled of a Torero dedicating a bull to Fleming. Coming back to this business here, where there's no danger, can you still get a kick out of it? Well, you should get a, a tremendous kick from the, from the art and the beauty and the knowledge of the Toreros. Um, actually, practising here in Rochdale, one appreciates the art of the Toreros far more. Would you like to see bullfighting in England? No, I would not like to see bullfighting oh. in England. Why not? There is neither the, the atmosphere nor the crowd appreciation nor the bulls, there is nothing in England conducive to bullfighting, and I just wouldn't like to see it in England, nor would any of the members of my club, as a matter of fact. <laughs> I notice you bend the body. This is not because it's more graceful, but to clear the body from the horns, I suppose. Oh, no. I mean, it's all part of the movements. They all depend on the pass. 
uh, say the farrel, for instance, I mean, you've got to arch the back. I'll just demonstrate to you. Mm -hmm. So when you go to, your back must start, but you can get your arms over and it's not so Ah, yes, but if you're doing the pharonica now, you're sort of, you get your body out of the way, no, don't this you? is the movement of the pharonica. Uh -huh. You must, you lean over the ball. In fact, it is more dangerous. You're not getting away. As the ball comes, the ball approaches here and you're leaning over, see? And it comes back. And the idea is to get the ball as near as possible, then? Well, yes, to bring it in nice and close, right past the body, and um, to show that you can dominate the ball. What do you mean by dominate a ball? Well, he can... When he's got it dominated, he can go up to it, throw this on the ground, and he can go and touch its horns. Um, Carlos Arutha, one matador was known, he used to put his eye on the bull's horn, and he knew the bull was dominated, that it wouldn't move, he's got it fixed. And otherwise, it's only had to move, and he'd lost his eye or his life. See, the How idea, long would a bull stay trying to fix like that? Oh, it's only for a matter of a minute or two minutes, that's all. you got to judge that. Yes, they've they, they got to know you've got to dominate it. You've got to be a good math, though, to yeah, know this. I bet. Well, now, could you demonstrate the use yes. of the muleta and the banderillas? Yes, oh, I'll like go with the banderillas okay. first and then come into the muleta.